Now we will solve example 7.2 in example 7.2 is that we will be looking for the ground state energy of a delta function potential. The delta function we have already uh, covered in chapter 2. So we will utilize that potential such that H, the Hamiltonian, the kinetic part is the same minus H bar square over 2m d square psi over dx square while the potential part is different which is a delta function which is alpha times delta of x. So this is the potential and as usual we will take the Gaussian trial function so the trial function psi of x the previous one which we normalized as well let me write it in a normalized form 2b over pi 1 over 4 e to the power minus b x square so it is the same Gaussian function which we will utilize as a trial function now for the same function is we know that the expectation value h we are going to calculate on psi and the Hamiltonian is a sum of the kinetic energy portion and the potential energy portion. So we have already calculated from our previous example for this trial function the t comes out to be b h bar square over 2m and as our potential has changed now it is not a harmonic oscillator it is a delta function potential so we will have to derive the potential uh, expectation value so here let's start with the potential so it will be psi v psi and this thing I can write in integral form here we will have minus alpha minus alpha it will come out of it because it's a constant and then the 2b over pi 1 over 4 of 1 and 2b over pi 1 over 4 of the other will become 2b over pi and 1 over 2 so they will square and it will come out to be this then integral from minus infinity to plus infinity and it will be e to the power minus b x square and delta x and e to the power minus b x square dx so this thing is now let me rearrange the terms so it is minus alpha 2b over pi and half I can write minus infinity to plus infinity this one is delta function is applied on this whole so e to the power minus 2b x square and delta of x dx. Now I know that this is from minus infinity to plus infinity f of x delta of x minus a dx is equal to f of a. Now here if I look then this is x minus 0 basically. So a is equal to 0. So I will put wherever there is x I will put that equal to 0 here. So this will make the integral equal to or if I write if this is x minus 0 means this is delta x then it will be f of 0. 
So I will have to write this thing is minus alpha 2b over 5 and 1 over 2 and this will be e to the power minus 2b and put x equal to 0. So it is e to the power 0 and e to the power 0 is 1. So this integral, this value of v, expectation value of v minus alpha 2b over pi and square root here 1 over 2. So we have found the value of v as well. Now we know that h is equal to the kinetic average value, expectation value b h bar square b h bar square over 2m minus alpha and 2b over pi and half. Now this is a value which is for the Hamiltonian for h and as we have done earlier we will have to minimize this to minimize h and for this minimization we take its first derivative with respect to b because p involved here is equal to 0 and this is equal that d will db of this thing. So it will come out to be h bar square over 2m minus what this will become? It will become minus alpha here then the derivative of this with respect to b will be half and 2b over pi half minus 1 and then the derivative of this will come out to be 2 over pi. So this is the derivative that we have to calculate and then this is equal let me further simplify this one h bar square over 2m minus now there is some cancellation and the cancellation is first this term will become half minus 1 it will become minus half so minus half will make this thing 1 over 2 b over pi and if I do inverse this one so pi over 2 b it will come out to be this will come out to be pi over 2 b and then these terms are being cancelled so I have minus alpha minus alpha over pi and pi over 2b and this is equal to 0 further this is equal to h bar square over 2m minus this will come out to be alpha pi this is pi into pi so when it's cancelled and I can write that this is 2 pi b mean one cancellation will occur with the pi and this is equal to 0 which implies that alpha over 2 pi b square root is equal to h bar square over 2m and from here I can calculate the value of b which will come out to be if I square both sides then this is equal to alpha square over 2 pi b equal h bar 4 over 4 m squared. So doing a cross multiplication I can have the value of b equal to 2 pi h bar 4 
टू पाई एच बार फोर हियर एंड विद दिस आई विल हैव टू राइट मींस बी इक्वल्स सो दिस विल कम डाउन हियर सो लेट मी मेक हियर एंड फोर एम स्क्वायर अल्फा स्क्वायर फोर एम स्क्वायर अल्फा स्क्वायर एंड दिस विल मेक this thing equal that b will come out to be equal to 2 is simplified here so we have 2 alpha square m square 2 alpha square m square divide by pi h bar 4 so this is our Value that we got. Now put this value of b big into this equation. So this implies that h, and we call this the minimum or the minimized, is equal to put the value of b. So two alpha square m square over pi h bar four into h bar square over 2m minus minus this will be alpha and 2 over alpha 2 over alpha 2 over pi i have written in square root and the b square root will come out to be the b square root will come out to be 2 over pi so they are in square root while these one by making square root they will become alpha m over h bar squared so i have this thing and now there will be some simplifications 2 is gone with 2 m is gone with 1 m here and h bar square is gone with h bar square here and here the simplification is these two will make this thing equal to 2 over pi while alpha alpha will become alpha square and then this thing is equal to alpha m alpha squared m alpha squared divided by pi h bar squared minus this will come out to be also m alpha squared m alpha squared and then 2 over pi so 2 here And pi h bar squared. So this is m alpha square over pi h bar square is taken common. One minus two. So one minus two is minus, and this implies that h minimum or minimized is equal to minus m alpha squared by pi h bar. square and this comes out to be the value which will be greater or equal to the ground state energy and the negative shows that it is a bound case so we got the energy of a delta function potential and with this this example concludes